Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Monday the 23rd of August 2021. So according to the news, the uh, option expiry panic bid rescued the global stocks from worst week in six months as Fed taper looms, although there's doubts about that as well. So yeah, I mean, as it says here, WTF uh, was that because uh, as you'll see, the markets uh, were brought back. But before we get to that, let's just deal with the rest of the uh, the news as well. Uh, Friday, we saw retail sales biggest monthly fall, not rise, fall inflation biggest rise uh, on Thursday for the RPI. And uh, the retail sales uh, fell since uh, January after Euro boost faded and self-isolation rose apparently. Uh, we've then got... Uh, the implied volatility, which obviously dropped because they managed to bring the market back, whether it was the option expiration or the uh, plunge protection team or a combination of the two. So we saw the implied drop from 16.82 down to 14.03. And news uh, for today, uh, we've got uh, the flash news, which is a pain in the rear because uh, it's out every half an hour or 20 minutes. It's it's a real pain, this one, unfortunately. Once a month, uh, we have to deal with it. So you can just, the market can just get it going and then it has to, it stops waiting for the uh, flash news. So uh, yeah, pain, but that's today's news. But later on in the week, uh, interestingly enough, uh, we've got uh, Powell speaking. It starts on a Thursday. It's got the Jackson Hole Symposium and also uh, Friday, uh, Saturday, which doesn't really apply, but ju just so that uh, you're aware that uh, there is uh, this sort uh, of news out later in the week. And then a week today, of course, so uh, we've got bank holiday for the UK as well. There was some other news. It's going to be a virtual uh, Jackson Hole Symposium this year, uh, which I did uh, uh, see as well. So let's start off with uh, the Dow and have a look see where we are so on friday uh well thursday really we had this massive uh, volume there as they brought the market back at the 50 percent retracement from this low to this high and then friday was just fueled by further buying moving the market uh, through on the overnight uh, last night and currently at 62 percent 78 89 next upside targets and then the uh, all-time high which sits there at 35.628 on the ETX Capital platform back above the 20 bar moving average at the moment and the 5 bar moving average so everything's starting to move to the upside 5 bar needs to cross back above the 20 bar as well but watch the 89% retracement area for the Dow and also for the DAX as well let me just show you the 30 minute of look inside of what happened on uh, Friday the market in the pre-session was uh, very choppy as uh, we see here that the market moved uh, lower initially and then just found support through until we got to 230 and just made a vertical assault to the upside and that's how it's carried on on the overnight as well and in the German DAX uh, we're seeing a similar picture as well we've got uh, all of this uh, buying here on Thursday not so much on Friday, but then, you know, we shut at uh, 4.30 for the DAX and the Dow carried on. So it gave it a chance to continue that uh, greater buying that you see in the Dow daily as opposed to the DAX daily. However, prices uh, are currently just above the 62% retracement, which obviously I've removed off the chart inadvertently. Um, but 78, 89 and again, the 89 very important as will be the all-time high. So it looks like going forward in this week, we could see uh, if the market doesn't struggle at the 89% or you know, the 78, that uh, we go back to the all-time high of 16,030 for the DEX as well. Again, it's a case, this has been the same pattern for 13 years. I know it's incredibly frustrating. See it in the comments on the YouTube videos. You know, everybody knows it's manipulated. Everybody knows it's corrupt. Everybody knows that they, it's an illusion to, to uh, for the masses to say, look, you know, the economy's fine. If the stock market hasn't crashed, we're fine. There's no problems. And yet we know that underneath they uh, are paddling like swans uh, with uh, what's going on and also probably what's to come during the autumn as well, because this is not sustainable. We've got another three and a half trillion to be printed by Biden as well. 
who is a complete and utter clown. Uh, well, all politicians, frankly, are clowns. Uh, so the whole thing's a circus, isn't it, one way or another at the moment. But let's not get political. Uh, let's stick to uh, the markets. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the 30 minutes, uh, you can see we had that bit of a sell-off, the same with the Dow. Market found support, and then it just traded uh, sideways. But you can see we had the pullback there in the longer term, 62 78% before the market moved back to the upside there. Uh, so a quick look at uh, the two minutes overnight and uh, you'll see that price is uh, moving to the uh, upside there. You can see the start of the session at all just moving up uh, above the 200, above the high, 20 bar above the 200, 5 bar above the 20. So all fairly bullish there at the moment. That doesn't mean to say it would remain that way but uh, um, who knows uh, once the futures open at 7am. Uh, that was an interesting bar while we're just watching. A lot of volume just screamed into there and the market didn't move much. So uh, interesting to see what happens uh, there. But uh, yeah. So uh, let's continue and have a look at the metals markets. But before we do that is a headline for you. Uh, I'll just find it there. Uh, three JP Morgan precious metals traders charged as criminal probe continues. So uh, there you go. If you ever wanted uh, proof, more proof, not proof, more proof of uh, the manipulation of the metals. Mind you, you don't need to, uh, um, you don't need me to tell you this. You only have to look every afternoon at 2.30 at the moment when they uh, give the metals a good uh, pounding to the downside. Well, silver, the rest are fine. Uh, but uh, silver, if we look at uh, Friday afternoon, here we go again. Uh, straight down you see them buy back there with the buying pressure bar and then they brought the market back but so let's have a shake out let's get rid of a few more short positions before we can go along on this uh, and that's what uh, they've uh, done there and we saw it on thursday we saw it on uh, wednesday uh, not so much uh, tuesday last week uh, but uh, they did it overnight on the tuesday and oh look what a surprise and this is what it's been like for the last few weeks just hammering the uh, the metals more so i say at that uh, 2 30 time so today 2 30 i uh, expect uh, the metals the particular silver to be hammered to the downside we've seen the uh, gold silver ratio now continuing up we're uh, 78 uh, high on this uh, not the all-time high 105 but uh, still interesting because when you actually look at the price of uh, gold uh, we go back here have a look at the gold price it's barely moved it's been sideways so silver been hammered to the downside as uh, we can see there all, all of last week whereas gold has uh, been allowed to trade uh, sideways there in the dollar let's have a quick look a uh, bit of weakness there overnight at the moment for the uh, US dollar and uh, you can see there a bit of a sell-off there in the dollar which is supporting silver at the moment but uh, we'll see what happens with afghan and whether uh, there's still a flight to uh, as they say uh, which is laughable quality into the us uh, dollar we'll see but uh, certainly uh, some selling there on uh, friday uh, afternoon for the us uh, dollar okay quick look at uh, friday's activity uh, the retail sales were out uh, that we saw they were bad news and yet the market moved to the upside and then uh, it was uh, volatile to say the least on the open which i haven't seen for a long time where you've got a situation uh, there it was uh, up and down they were trying to uh, sort of vying for position uh, the market put in a buy signal but uh, immediately just reversed i haven't seen that for a very long time where the market did a straight uh, reversal normally it would continue in the direction of the signal and then fail uh, or you know potentially fail and move back to the downside but uh, straight reversal there uh, prices then just uh, drifted uh, lower they found support they moved with the dow as i showed you in the 30 minute and then they just found support and then it became sideways just sideways to higher through the morning and all morning just traded in a in a range until we got to the afternoon when, I say, according to the news, the uh, ops, option expiration uh, traders forced the market higher. I'm not buying that. I still think that there was a, a central bank uh, backing of uh, this market to bring it back. They don't like to go into the weekend with weakness in the Dow. And you can see here that the market was tested as soon as it opened. 
Uh, the market tested below the 20 bar moving average. You've got the 200, the 20, the 5 all lined up, closed back above the 5 bar moving average, and prices moving to the upside there. And that's the way it remained for the uh, afternoon, closing below on the odd occasion and then closing back as the Dow just uh, moved back to the upside and the DAX in uh, the daily chart are creating those uh, as you'll see in the Dow here creating the move to the upside in the 30 minute there you go just kept moving up every half an hour just moving to the upside apart from the other occasion where it stalled and uh, the same in uh, the German DAX also okay that will do it uh, for this one uh, let's see what today brings don't forget we've got the flash news this morning like i say a pain in the rear because uh every half an hour or so there's a change it could be potentially a change in direction with uh, each country's release of the uh, flash data okay that's it for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next